Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the messages the divine wants you to receive in this timeless reading. As usual, it is always important to allow your intuition to be available as I'm doing your readings because your intuition will start elaborating on the messages that you're receiving so that this reading becomes powerful and personal. We're going to be looking at our tarot cards as well as our oracle cards. And as we are looking at our tarot cards and oracle cards, I always want to remind you to take what is resonating with you, leaving behind anything that is not for you. I'm just going to be getting another set of cards so that we can get as much information in this reading as possible. I want to remind you that we have our candle magic ceremony that is happening on the 19th of May. We are going to be working with the energies of the new moon. Finally, we have the new moon in Taurus and Taurus is the perfect sign for manifesting. The new moons are perfect for planting the seeds of our intentions. So on this day, we're going to be doing our candle magic ceremony. Okay. And if you're wanting to be part of that manifestation ceremony, go in the description box below, reserve your space, write your petition as if everything has already happened. Because when you're writing with pen and paper, this is spelling. This is the first part of manifesting. And then send a short and sweet petition to me. Me and my team will collaborate together. We'll bring the house down. We'll really raise the energies through dancing, through chanting, through singing as we are planting your seeds of intentions, as we are saying our prayers. The prayer ceremonies are powerful. You can go in the short section and you can see how they look like or you can see the videos at the end because I've been trying to share as much of those ceremonies as I can. So yeah, if you're wanting to be part of the manifestation ceremony, don't wait until the last moment because candles do get sold out. I can't emphasize that enough. Candles do get sold out. Okay, so let's have a look to see what is currently going on. We have no major arcana cards on the table, which is good. But there are some things that we need to talk about. Okay, it's quite a balanced type of energy. You are having the energies of the pentacles. You are having two cards connected to the energies of the wands and also two cards connected to the energies of the cups. So this is your health, your wealth. This is the things that we care about. And remember, we were talking about Taurus, New Moon, that is going to be taking place on the 19th of May. This is connected to the energies of our pentacles because this is resources. This is money. This is stability. This is the things that we usually pray about. And so the divine is wanting you again to understand that when you're working with the energies, as you can see, the energies so above, so below. So now you're starting to understand why it is important to collaborate with what is currently going on astrologically. Because when you do, you are able to start receiving, you're able to start manifesting and you're able to start creating the stability, the financial stability that you have been praying for for quite some time. The divine is saying to you that it is important for you because remember, currently right now, we are still working with Mercury in retrograde. We are still working with the lunar eclipse energies. So right now, you still have that opportunity to do your cord cutting ceremonies. You still have that opportunity to remove, to banish the evil eye, witchcraft, Whatever evil intentions, anything that is standing in your way, how you self-sabotage, you still have that opportunity to use that fire element to cleanse, to mutate, to transform these energies that are bringing this heaviness, this darkness into your life. So that when it is time for us to start planting our seeds, we're able to do so. And if you need those cord cutting ceremonies, those banishing ceremonies, Everything is listed in the description box below. You can find it on my website. So the divine is saying to you again, the stability that you're praying for, the financial stability, you can start creating this when you're working with the energies and the elements that is around you. The energies of the six of pentacles is also reminding you that once you have created that financial stability, it is important to always be charitable. Why is charity important? Because it shows that by opening up your hand and giving, you are showing the divine that you're able to understand that you can step into becoming an earth angel for someone in need. So charity is also being encouraged. 
Because by giving, you're able to open up your hand and receive blessings. So the divine is saying that you're starting to understand how we are all connected as one. The divine can utilize you as an earth angel by giving, by helping someone. And someone else steps in and they're able to help you. And on and on the energies go. So we are part of a co-creation. We are part of a cycle that is here. As we're moving forward to the next cards, these are wonderful energies that are here. So first things first. Okay, we spoke about breaking the bondages to scarcity, that scarcity mindset. Breaking the bondages to whatever is keeping you stuck. Now you have the energies right below of the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is saying that where does life just feel unexciting, in uninspiring, boring? Where are you feeling stagnant right now? It is time for you to connect, to ground yourself. Because in doing so, you are going to be able to see that there are some opportunities, some offers that have wanted to come into your life. But because they don't look exciting, because they don't look glamorous, you have been ignoring this. But by tapping in, by tuning in, by connecting to your guides, to your ancestors, you are able to ask them about the offers that are coming in. You are able to ask them and see how you have actively been stocking your blessings coming in. Why is this? Because right below these three cards, you are receiving the energies telling you that your blessings are coming in disguise. Okay. So the divine is saying to you that again, there is an offer that is here that is coming in. Connect to your heart, connect to your mind, connect to your soul, connect to everything. And then once you're feeling grounded and centered, you are going to be able to see that some blessings that are coming in, they might look boring, they might look uninspiring, they might not just be wrapped in this the type of wrapping that you prayed for. You wanted that big house, you wanted the new car, and the divine gives you something, but you're like, no, that's not what I'm praying for. But the divine is saying that that acceptance, you opening up your hand to receive, you're going to be seeing that that thing that is coming in is going to be mutating, is going to be growing into something even better than what you're currently praying for right now. So the divine is saying to you that your blessings are coming in, they are flowing in, but just be mindful that you don't reject those blessings because they don't look like what it is that you're praying for because your blessings are coming in a different way, okay? So you are receiving the Queen of Wands and also the Knight of Cups. So the Queen of Wands, these are our royal energies that are here. So the Divine is saying that, remember we spoke about removing any blockages, we're transmuting and transforming this energy through the element of fire, through you saying your prayers and lighting your candles. And then you're going to be seeing that things will start coming in quickly, because when you always see the energy and the element of the sunflower, this is the indication of things happening very, very quickly. So you're starting to use your intuition. You're starting to utilize your gifts, your talents and your skills. And you're starting to see your situation changing in a powerful way. Because you took the time to understand that it is important to always free whatever it is that is standing in your way, whatever it is that is blocking you. It is always important to light the candles and to see what is in the darkness so that you can release, so that you can start removing and rejecting any scarcity mindsets, any mindset that was keeping you stuck. Because remember the divine told you that your blessings are coming in a way that are, that is unexpected. So the divine is saying that you, using your intuition, you utilizing your talents and your skills, you are going to be seeing yourself quickly being upgraded. But you need to remember that you must bravely go forward. Because the energies of the knights are always about taking action. So not only are you bravely taking action, you're understanding that being proactive is part of the key that is going to be allowing blessings to come into your life. So as you are making changes, as you are shifting, as you are going forward, as you're facing your fears, the divine is saying to you that it is important for you to understand that the journey that you're taking is being divinely guided. So understand that there's no reason for you to feel afraid. There's no reason for you to doubt. There's no reason for you to self-sabotage. Because you're finally understanding 
that the divine is walking with you, your guides are walking with you, and you are not alone. The journey that you're going on is going to be seeing you really receiving quickly, fast, your prayers, your wishes, your hopes. Because remember, I told you that we're going to be working with those energies of Taurus. And the Taurus is all about our possessions, the things that we care about. So it is important for you to understand that Taurus is ruled by Venus and Venus is about the good things in life. So what good things are you wanting to manifest, are you wanting to bring into your life? And the best part about the energies that we are going to be working with is that Jupiter is always going is also going to be here. So the energies of Jupiter are going to be sprinkling some of these blessings that are here. The energies of Jupiter are all about expansion. All right. So we saw you here creating that stability. We saw you here doing charitable acts and being that earth angel. We saw you here being brave, going forward to claim what is rightly yours. And you saw that some of the things that were coming into your life to amplify your life, some of the blessings that were flowing into your life are coming in like left field. You are not even anticipating this. And you're starting to understand that your blessings are coming in disguise. And as you're understanding this, you're starting to work with synchronicities. So in the comment section below, comment 777. Because you're understanding that lucky number seven is going to be walking with you on this journey. Okay. And not only that, the divine is saying to you that as you are here creating this wealth, as you are here bravely going forward, you're starting to understand that the stars are aligning for you. And this is why it is always important to work with the planetary alignments. Because when you work with the planetary alignments, you see that when you're brave, this bravery here pays off really, really quickly. Your bravery starts seeing you being upgraded into situations that you didn't even think. You could be part of these organizations. You could be upgraded. You could be promoted. You could be filling the blanks. You were not even anticipating it. But because you now understood that your stars are aligning for you, you are working with the energies that are currently around you and you're flowing with those energies, you're starting to see that you bring in the blessings into your life very, very quickly. So the divine truly wants you to understand that there are some blessings that are coming in and you are going to be deliciously surprised as these blessings flow in because now is the time. The stars are aligning in your favor and so it is time for you to sit down, to truly connect what you want, what you love, what are you passionate about and utilize your intuition as you're going on this journey that is here and see any opportunities that might look really boring, but you accept those opportunities and they are going to grow into something that you didn't even anticipate. So beloved, this is the message that the divine wanted to give to you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And remember, if you're wanting to be part of the manifestation ceremony that is going to be happening on the 19th of May, go in the description box below, go to my website, you know what to do now. Reserve your space, write your petition, send your petition to me, and then it is up to my team and I to do our magic. Okay, so I'm going to see you in my next reading. It is a goodbye from me.